Welcome to this first tutorial of Python Eats Tail, where we will create a custom user model combined with a Wagtail project. When doing this, it's important to migrate to database after we have done both. So let's start with creating a directory. Python Eats Tail, um, go into it and create a virtual environment. Activate this virtual environment and install Django. Now we're told that our pip version is a bit behind, so let's correct that immediately to get rid of that warning. And now it's time to install Wagtail. Now we can in start a Wagtail project within our current directory. Um, don't forget the dot at the end. And let's check out how it looks like by opening our editor. Uh, there's the project. And this is the file structure. So now it's time to create the database by using the command psql and connecting to the standard database which is always there. Use the command create user to create a dedicated user for this database with password. Well, we'll use one, two, three here, but that's obviously you should use a wiser password. Creating the database with create database, well, let's call it DB pet owner user pet and we're done we can leave the editor leave the psql command and go back to our environment now we need a driver for postgresql and the most popular driver is p uh, psycho pg2 so let's install that pg2 binary And we're done with that. So now it's time to tell Django that we have used the PostgreSQL database and we can do that by putting that in our settings. So if we go to settings, uh, there's three settings, the base settings, development and production. This is going to be in the base settings. And if we go to the database parameter, which is right over here, we can see that now it has an SQL light um, setting. So we don't want that. Let's see how Django recommends to do that. Uh, obviously, I've prepared that. You can see here in the Django documentation, the link is in the written tutorial, um, that there is a database parameter for PostgreSQL. Let's copy that and put it in our settings file. Obviously, we have to change the name of the database, change the name of the user, and change the password. Now it's time to create our user model. Um, now there's several ways that you can do that. Django is giving a lot of information about that. And um, basically you can subtract, um, um, subclass from abstract user, which gives you access to the full user model of Django, or subclass from abstract base user, which gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot more possibilities, but also a lot more work because you have to create your own create super user for example you have to create your own admin and that is too much for this tutorial um, so we will just subclass from abstract user in this case and Django tells us exactly how to do that um, we intend to add a lot more things to this user model so we will create a separate app for that and we can do that by the command start app and we will call this app user auth. So there we are. When we create this app, we have to put it into the settings as well. So we go to the install apps. There we are. And we will add to that user auth so that Django knows that this app 
actually exists. Um, in the models.py of this app, we are going to put our custom user model. And it's going to be exactly like this one. So let's copy that over and put it here. Yeah. We will call it custom user. Now we have to, in the settings, we have to tell Django that we will use this model by putting this in, authorized user model. So let's go to our settings. And again, we will use the base.py file. We put that somewhere at the end. Let's say, okay, um, custom user model. And we put in the parameter as mentioned in the documentation equal to our app user user. What is this? No capitals, please. User auth dot custom user. Now, finally, we are ready to migrate our database. So let's do that. And migrate. Wonderful. Let's run the server to see what it actually looks like. And visit the URL. And there is the homepage of Wagtail. Now, this is it for now. Um, read on if you and look at the next videos if you want to add extra fields to the custom user model.